Hi guys, this is Everett Johnston. Today we're going to talk about the operation of the Harbor Freight Banks Framing Nailer. Let's take a look at the box there. This is the framing nailer, and I'm going to be using three and a quarter inch long nails. All right, now I showed how to load the nails into the gun. I showed how to set PSI 90 or 100, it depends on the gun that you're doing. Those are two separate videos. So you want to set the pressure, what you're going to flow it at, and you want to set how to set the nails into place and how to remove them on the end of the day if you want to remove them, whatever. Okay? So now we're going to go into a little bit more, more stuff. Now, once you've got your nail gun, this is your nail gun. And you've got it loaded. As you can see, I've loaded the nails and I've got this set just right. All right, the next step it says to do every day is that in the hose, it says before you connect it every day, you want to have a little bit of lube. Now that's the lube just to, you know, just to keep it going and, and there's many ways, but I'm going to stick it down here. I'm going to put a drop or two of oil since I'm going to use it and, and that's what the book says, okay? So I'm going to put a little bit of lube now, this, the quick desk connects don't come with it, nor does this hose. I bought a 50-foot hose. You buy the air gun, it's 100 bucks. Right around there, give or take coupons. You know, everybody gets coupons. Now, I have that on there, and as you saw my other videos, what I've done is that I've, I've, I've put in a gauge, right? I mean, a valve to turn it off. Now, this is in the on position right now. But the, gate, the pressure went down a little bit. Now, I've set this for 90. That's what this is supposed to be at. The other thing I've done, before you hook up this gauge, you're supposed to, see this knob? I've already set the depth. You turn it clockwise to go a little deeper. So that three and a quarter inch nail will go all the way in. I don't want it sticking out. Let me show you how that stuck out here, okay? This is what happened when I first did it. See those nails? See how they stuck up a little bit? All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hammer this in there, and hopefully you can see what I'm doing should work fine there okay we're gonna put this on a single we're gonna push down there it goes now now it's not that didn't push down all the way in like I want it to ah I need to adjust this clockwise something happened let's go down that's way low what is happening here my depth going the wrong way or something. Hang on guys. Ah, that went in. What happened there? Let's see, do I have the air on? You know what I didn't do? I, I messed up guys. I forgot to turn on the valve. I'm kind of dumb, aren't I? All right, now let's check it. Boy, that went in like a monster, didn't it? You see that go in there? Okay, look at this. Wow, that's beautiful, baby. Look at that. Now, you can adjust this here to go boom, 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 but I'm not gonna do it that way, all right? I'm just gonna do one nail at a time. So let's see this again. I've already used a bunch of nails, didn't I? Hang on. Woo, that went in beautiful. That's a two by four. Let's see if we can see. Look at that. Came just through the other end. So for me, it's gonna be just right. That three and a quarter inch nail is gonna be just perfect for what I want it for. All right, well, hopefully my video is okay. I mean, you know, I'm not the best here. Read the book, guys. Plumbing, commercial, bye. <laughs>